Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good morning. My name is Hisham Ben Zouid. I'm a PhD student at Badji Mukhtar University, Department of Metallurgy and Material Engineering. It's a pleasure to be here with you at first national conference in material physics to present my work titled by Preparation and Characterization of Titanium Aluminium Nitride by Radio Frequency Direct Current Magnetron Cosh Pattering. The work plan of this presentation will be as following Introduction, Experimental Procedures, Result and Discussion, and finally Conclusion. So let's start with a small introduction. Titanium Aluminium Nitride has evolved as one of the important advanced protective coating for several potential applications such as tooling, biomedical instruments, etc. It exhibits high melting point, chemical inertness, superior oxidation resistance at elevated temperature, high hardness, better wear and corrosion resistance at low and low thermal conductivity. It's non-toxic and biocompatible. Now let's talk about the experimental procedures. Titanium aluminium nitride thin films are deposited on silicon wafers using radio frequency and direct current magnet range patterning technique using the metallic titanium and aluminium targets. The titanium and aluminium targets were powered by radio frequency 200 watt and direct current 100 watt respectively. The target to the subset distance was fixed at 120 mm and the bias voltage was minus 75 volt. The working pressure was kept constant. Three coatings A, B and C were prepared at different argon to nitrogen ratio as summarized in the table. Titanium and titanium nitride were deposited before the top layer titanium aluminum nitride to support and uh, enhance the addition of the titanium aluminum nitride thin film. After the deposition, the coatings were subjected to different techniques of characterization. Let's start with the XRD results. The figure show the XRD pattern of titanium aluminum nitride coating deposited on silicon wafers as function of nitrogen to argon ratio. The structure of the three coatings are composed of different orientation in phase cubic centered titanium aluminum nitride. At 10 SCCM nitrogen flower, the coating has a preferred orientation in 220 with the increasing of nitrogen ratio, the peak intensity of 220 and 111 orientation decrease and the peak intensity of 200 increase. Now the FISM results. The figures show the surface morphology and the cross section of the coating A observed by the FISM at nitrogen flow rate 10 SCCM. The titanium aluminium nitride coating show a lamellar pyramid like and loose surface morphology. However, the surface morphology becomes spherical and dense after the increase in nitrogen flow rate. The total thickness of the coating decrease with the increase of nitrogen flow rate. The surface topography of the titanium aluminium nitride thin films was also studied using atomic force microscopy for a scanned area 1 micrometer square is shown in the figure. The columnar structure is observed. The nitrogen flow rate does affect the surface roughness of the coating. Increasing nitrogen flow rate decreases the surface roughness as mentioned. The figure presents the contact angle measurement of the coating. The result show that the contact angle between a water droplet and the coating is superior than 90 degree, which means that the coatings are hydrophobic. Increasing nitrogen flow rate decreases the hydrophobicity of the coating. As a conclusion, titanium aluminium nitride coating were prepared by radio frequency and direct current magnetron cosh pattering on silicon wafer. 
a different nitro nitrogen flow rate. All coatings show the cubic titanium aluminum nitride structure with different preferred orientation. The deposition rate of the titanium aluminum nitride in films decreases with increasing nitrogen flow rate. Increasing nitrogen flow rate decreases the surface roughness of the coating. All coatings exhibit a hydrophobic behavior. Finally, thank you for your listening.